proteins, which will be translocated to the endoplasmic reticulum, begin with a signal sequence of hydrophobic amino acids when they are translated. These amino acids will later be excised and will not be part of the mature protein. This signal sequence of amino acids will bind to the SRP particle, the signal recognition particle, which is composed of both RNA and protein. This binding will pause translation, known as elongation arrest, and it will not continue until the peptide has entered the lumen of the ER so that translation and the translocation of the protein occur together. The SRP particle guides the ribosome growing peptide and mRNA to the SRP receptor on the surface of the ER membrane. After docking with the SRP receptor, the growing peptide is directed through a channel in the endoplasmic reticulum membrane. This channel is composed of a number of proteins, primarily the SEC61 complex, with several other proteins as well, such as TRAM and TRAP. Thus, the protein is translocated to the lumen of the ER. There is a signal peptidase complex, which will remove the signal peptide from the amino acid chain so that this peptide is not part of the mature protein. Additional proteins will complete the migration of the peptide from the ribosome through the translocon channel.